Welcome back to Character Rigging. We've got our guy here with his first uh, leg joints created on his left leg. When we toggled on our local rotate axis, we noticed that uh, some of the joints were misaligned here as far as their rotation. Uh, this is sort of the direction that we want them facing in with the, the Z pointing inward like that. So the toe is going to have to be fixed. Uh, we'll do that in a separate pass at the end. And uh, we need to correct the, the knee joint for sure. And uh, looks like also, uh, sort of looks like it's correct, but we'll go ahead and, and fix this as well, the thigh joint right here. So the first thing we want to do is zero out uh, the, the joint orient um, on these. Uh, but if we go ahead and just uh, zero these out as is, uh, you'll see right there that uh, it rotates things uh, in a direction that we don't want. And that's because they're still parented. So let's go ahead and uh, just put that back to where it was. OK, uh, that's another thing you may want to do is uh, go under Windows settings and preferences, preferences, and just make sure under undos that you have set it to infinite. Uh, typically it's just Q to 50 and um, hit save right there. Uh, sometimes you can get into a little bit of trouble when rigging and um, it's hard to get out of it. You'll usually have to just undo uh, to get out of it. So go ahead and uh, take care of that. All right, so we need to unparent these joints right here. So I'm gonna just select the knee joint and hold down the shift key and hit P on my keyboard and that will unparent those. Same thing with the ankle here, just repeating that process. So now we have our knee joint and our thigh joint unparented. And now we can come in here and just zero out the, the joint orient on that, X, Y, Z. Same thing down here with the knee. Just zero those out. Okay, that kind of just gives us a, a clean slate to work with. And now what we're going to do is um, actually use an aim constraint. I'm just opening up the option window to show you there uh, what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to use this to uh, correct the, the, the way in which our, um, our joints are aiming. And um, we're going to use a locator. We're going to make a locator with a MEL script. And we're going to use that to sort of aim our, uh, our vector at. All right, so let's go ahead and close this window out. And uh, this is going to be a very simple mail script. And the last one we just typed down here in our uh, mail command uh, window right here. I'm actually going to come over here and open up the script editor. You can see I've already written it right here. So I'm just going to right mouse click and say clear all. So that clears everything out. And just open this up a little bit wider. Okay, and down here in the bottom window, this is where I'm going to write the script. Uh, forward slash turns red right there. So this is just uh, naming our, our script here. So I'm going to call this locator maker. Okay, and uh, we'll start off with string and uh, give it a variable. So dollar sign. And I'm just abbreviating what I wrote up above, the locator maker. So doing that, uh, giving it an array to make multiples there, and that's going to be equal to, and we're going to enclose that and just call it space locator and end that with a semicolon. Make sure that I'm spelling it correctly. Uh, it should have turned to blue right there. It was a good indication that I had a, a typo in there. Let's go back down here. And now we're going to tell it, um, so we're telling it what to do. Now we're going to uh, just rename it. We're going to rename that, uh, this variable right here in this next command. So string with R in there. Another variable, rename the locator and make that equal to, and this is our command here. So uh, we'll say rename. And actually we can just cut and paste this right here. So I'm gonna actually copy paste. 
and we'll just simplify, kind of shorten that name down. So uh, uh, quote, and just call that locator for short, end quote, and semicolon to complete that uh, string right there. OK? So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to highlight the whole script right there, hold down the control key, and hit Enter. I got a syntax error. Uh, let's see where it's at. Ah. There, I forgot to, to close this off right here, so it needs to be closed right there. Let's try it again. Holding down control, there we go, that worked. Okay, so uh, I can actually save this out if you want to save a, a script um, to use at a later date. You can always come under here and say save script. And I've got my folder on the desktop here under scripts. I've already saved it right here. It's called locatormaker.mel. So you can go ahead and save that out if you'd like to. If you want to drop it on your uh, shelf here, you can do that as well. I've already done one, but uh, same thing. You just uh, highlight the whole thing, drag with the middle mouse button and drop it up here. So you can edit the pop-up. There's the window right there. And under the shelf, animation, there it is right there. And if I want to give it a, a little icon, LM for short. Save it on the shelf and do that. You can see it right there. Okay, so I think we've got uh, more than one in here. Let me um, just open up the outliner and delete those extra ones. So we just have the one locator right there. Let's go ahead and close that back down. All right, so I want to um, bring this locator up here and I actually want to uh, line up with this joint right here. So what I'm going to do is select the locator. I'm going to middle mouse button with the V key held down and just snap it on to that locator or to that uh, joint right there. So you can see it's uh, snapped right in there. And I'm actually going to just move it over now because I don't want it directly on there. I want to pull it over to the, uh, the Z side uh, so it's oriented like these are right here. All right. So we've got that in place. And I'm not going to select this. Actually, we're going to select the, the knee joint first. We're going to orient it to the knee joint. Then I'm going to shift select this one here and come under Constrain. Select the Aim Constrain option box. Open that up. And so the, the aim vector, uh, we want X as it is right here. Let's just go ahead and uh, reset the settings. So aim vector, we want uh, uh, x uh, as 1. And then the up vector, um, right now, it's set for y as, um, as up. So we actually want to set that to 0. And over here in the z, we want to make that 1. OK, so the, the world up type is going to be that object that we made it right there, the locator. And the name we gave it was LOC. OK, and hit Apply. And you can just see it, it uh, oriented over to the, the locator right there. So now you can see that the Z is oriented correctly, as is the Y. OK, so we've got that one fixed now. And let's just set this off to the side. I need to open up the outliner. And if we go inside here, that's what it created. So we just need to delete that now that it's uh, done its thing. Okay, so I'm now going to select, uh, make sure that I'm selecting it in the center here. You want it activated yellow. It remembers that this was the last, um, I moved it in, I think, X. Uh, so it remembers that. So I have to activate it in the center again here. And then I'm going to hold down the V key and middle mouse, drag it onto this joint down here. Okay, and then same thing, I'm going to just move it over so we can get it to orient properly. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is come down here and select the ankle, shift select the knee joint, close down our outliner right here. And we've already got everything set up properly, so I'm just going to hit Apply. And you can see it just uh, corrected the, the orientation of that joint. Go back into the outliner, open up joint two. We actually need to go in and rename our joints here in a moment. And I can delete that constraint now. All right, and uh, this one is correct. So uh, we've got all of that now. 
Okay. So those look good. And uh, I can close down our outliner now. And close down this as well. So the next thing we need to do is uh, if we come in here, we can see that it's rotated them, uh, but it's ro rotated it in the, um, the wrong channel here. We want, remember, we want all of these to be zeroed out. So what we're going to do is just copy and paste this information down into the joint orient uh, channel boxes. So just a matter of highlighting, control C, drop it down to here, control V, and control C, control V, control C again for Z channel, and dropping that in there and hitting enter. Okay, and now we can come up here and just zero these out. Enter. Okay, so you can see that it's held on to all that information since we translated it down to here, um, zeroed everything out. So this uh, joint is now correct. Let's do the same thing for the knee joint. So just copy and paste. Okay, and then zero these out right here. Okay, so we've got those corrected now. All right, so we need to uh, reparent these back together and, and fix the toe. And we're going to do that next. Okay, let's move on in here and go ahead and parent our joints back together. So I'm going to select the knee. Actually, let's come back down here to the, the ankle. Shift select the knee and hit P on the keyboard. Let's see it parented that back together. And selecting the knee now and the thigh and P on the keyboard. Okay, so those are all parented back together properly. And we still need to correct this toe joint right here. The orientation of that is off. And with the toe joint selected, I'm just going to come under Skeleton, Orient Joint, Option Box, come in here and reset it. And we're going to just select under Secondary Axis, just select None, hit Orient. And that should pretty much take care of that. The next step we need to do is come in and rename our joints. So we can uh, start with the top one here and come over to our channel box. And I'm just going to double click on it where it says joint one. And I'm going to call this BN. This is going to be bound to the character. So we're going to be using that uh, at a later date. And left, or the left side, and this is our thigh bone. And I'm just uh, in production, usually a number thing, so I'm just going to put a zero one 1 after that. Sort of a good habit to get into. Enter. And then I'm going to just come in here and control C to copy it. Come down to my next joint, joint 2. Paste that in there. This is also going to be bound. And we're just going to replace thigh with knee. Enter. Come down to the ankle now. Control V, paste that in there. Call that ankle. Okay, and then we've got the, the ball of the foot right here. And this is not going to be bound. Um, so we're going to take off that, uh, that BN there on the front. So I'll just call this ball right here and remove this. And we'll give it a different label. Uh, we will call this uh, BE for right now. Same thing with the toe. Control V. This is the toe. And uh, just call that BE as well. Okay, so if we come into our outliner, we should be able to see all the, the changes here that we made. We can also get rid of that locator. We no longer need that. So if I uh, open this up, and it uh, looks like we lost the parenting right there. I'm just going to reparent that. 
Okay. And uh, just go ahead. If I hold shift down and click on that, it opens everything up underneath. So we should be able to see our labeling that we just did. All right. Very good. And now let's go ahead and uh, we're going to set up the IK handle for this between the thigh joint and the ankle. So let's just go ahead and access that right here. Uh, I'm actually going to double click on it and open up the tool settings. Go ahead and reset the tool. And when you do that, that brings up uh, defaults on the IK uh, SE solver, which is not what we want. We want to actually have this uh, rotate. Close that back down. And I'm going to select the hip and the ankle. And there it is right there. If you want to change the size of that locator, you can just come under animation, size, actually I can handle size right there. So that's the size of it right there. I'm going to probably drop it down to maybe 0.6. Should be good. Close that down. All right, so we've got that there. You see that working? Okay. And then let's go ahead and mirror that over. So I'm selecting the top joint right there, coming under skeleton, mirror joint. And we're going to mirror that across the YZ axis. And this is where we get to kind of come in here and, and rename things. So uh, that LT right there, we're going to uh, name that, rename that the left to the right. So underscore, it's going to look for underscore LT, underscore, and replace it with underscore RT, underscore. And go ahead and mirror that over. And there it is. So we can go ahead and check that. You can see it's renamed everything properly the way we want it. And we did not rename our uh, IK handles, so I probably want to do that. We've just got handle one and probably handle two over here. So let's uh, rename those to uh, IK. Left, this is our leg. A one, and we'll just basically uh, punch that in manually over here. Grabbing that, so I K right leg O one. Okay, so we have our our chain built for our legs now with I K handle on it. Everything is rotated properly. All the joints are oriented correctly now. And the next thing we're going to do, you probably noticed uh, when I lift the leg up here, um, the foot is not rolling properly. So the next thing we're going to do is build a, a foot roll or a foot lock that will allow our foot to uh, roll properly uh, when the character walks. And we'll do that in the next lesson.